going on everybody dj goham here welcome back to the channel giants have released the official gamescon 2020 trailer for the alpine farming expansion coming to farming simulator 19 on thursday november 12 2020 the new dlc will bring a new map erlingrad and over 30 new vehicles and tools the dlc will be available on all platforms playstation 4 xbox one pc mac and google stadia and can be purchased for 1999 usd if you'd like to pre-order the DLC on PC or Mac, I will have a pre-order link in the description below, and using that link does go to help support the channel at no extra cost to you. The DLC will be bringing new equipment never seen before for all platforms, including a push mower, as well as new brands AB and Ridge Track. Drive into the vast mountainous grasslands of the Alps. Since we have a new trailer showing off some new equipment today, including the Bure 6105 and the Lintrack 130 tractors, let's take a look and break down everything that we've seen new from the trailer frame by frame. Let's check it out. So jumping right in with the very beginning of this DLC trailer, and you might say to yourself, well, they're just showing off a tractor at night. That's not a whole lot to it. Well, guess what? If you think that you've already missed one of the new pieces of equipment, this is going to be the new Lintrack coming. This is the Linder Lintrack 130. This thing has, was 130 horsepower? 136 horsepower. This thing is crazy. Let's hit play again. Check this out. So going through, you can see the tractor itself. It is much, much larger than the one that we've got in game, though it still retains the all wheel drive steer. So that is great. We get that out of the way. You can see down here on the right hand side, we've got this coming with the new mowers that we've got. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the front mower on this is, but I can tell you that the rear mowers on this is going to be the Pottinger Nova Disc 812s that are coming with this new DLC. Moving forward. So here we get to see the Pottinger Faro. This is again something that we're going to be seeing. So I'm very excited about this. This is going to be the 4010, I believe. That's the only Faro coming with this DLC. It uh, requires 130 horsepower and has a 26,000 liter capacity. You can see right here, the Lintrack is pulling it no problem, even though it's got six, uh, six horsepower to go. Oop, and we'll go back a little bit. There you go. So this is the last time I believe that we get to see the Lintrack in here is a really good looking tractor. I know a lot of you guys love the Lintrack. It was my favorite small tractor to play with for a long time. Can't wait to see this. Moving forward, what do we get to see? Well, it turns here. This is going to be something big. Never seen before in farming simulator 19. So this is the ABCC 66. This is a push mower. <laughs> yeah, it is a push mower. And yes, it is strapped down. You can see that right there. We also get to see the Rigitrack SKE50 Electric. Oh yeah. And not only that, the trailer with this is brand new as well. This is going to be the Bachman MHAL 4320-35. Any brand new, everything here is brand new. Oh, I can't wait to see this. So then we transform, or transform over to that. You can see both of those pieces of equipment. What is this, DJ? Is that thing really doing what I think it's doing right now? Yes. Electric tractor, electric <laughs> gas. Instead of putting down a fuel thing, it's got gas. So right here, you can see our, our uh, guy. He's going through mowing. I'm so excited about this. You have no idea. This is going to be so cool. I wonder if you can hire a worker. Ooh, that'd be fun. There we go through. Here we get to see... Boom, oop, 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 go back, go back. Don't you dare take me away from that. This is another tractor that we're gonna be seeing. I believe this is going to be the Rigitrack SKH-75, which is a larger version of the other Rigitrack Electric. We've also got the plow coming with this. This plow is the Punger Servo 25. We've talked about that a little bit before. Oh yeah. Now here we move over, same tractor, I believe could be wrong but i looks like it i believe this right here is the same tractor again the rigid track was we'll say the skh 75 very good looking stuff right there and this is going to be our pottinger agrisim 3002 add now dj is this something that we're going to be getting as well you know it also has the lion 303 right here as well so you're going to be able to uh cultivate and seed all in one pass Great stuff there. And of course, as you can see, you've got all kinds of stuff around the map. Very good looking stuff. Way, way up here at the top. You've got something on top. Oh yeah, that's a hotel. I wonder if we can go up there. Oh, I bet that'd be so cool. Hit and play. Let's see what else we get. 
So now we get a vast landscape kind of from the beginning, almost like from the very beginning. You could see out here on the left hand side, but again, right here, it's showing off the map and it's showing off the beauty of the map. Not only the equipment, but look in the background, ignore the foreground. Look at that. It's gorgeous it's got a big big city inside so you go through do a lot of really cool stuff you got a milk factory you've got a chocolate factory cheese factory sorry milk goes to both of those then we move on to this little guy right here this is going to be the linder unitrack 125 l drive something brand new that we've never seen before we got something similar to it but not this per se we also with that get the lound swiss Elite S31, that is what this is right here. It's just a loading wagon, it's kind of neat. You can see it's dumping right here. Well, this actually picks stuff up off the ground, reverse. So it picks it up completely backwards. We go through, you drive, it picks it up from this way and goes whoosh, and shoves it in there. How cool is that? Now, this truck holds a couple other secrets as well. You can see right here, we're moving into our slurry spreader. Again, something else we're getting with this? Yes, something else we're getting with this. Sorry, I'm running two computers at the same time right now. This is the Agrar ADF 3200. This right here is going to be a slurry tank and it has a 10 meter working width at 3200 liters. So very, very small. And I'm looking at this, this almost looks like something that we have in game, but I think the drag hose is just a little bit smaller. I didn't see the drag hose online, but I think this is something that's going to be coming with this as well. Looking at this too, we might see some newer system support for this. I can't say that we will, but wouldn't that be something? Having a DLC supporting a mod that's in game already. That would be insane. That would be crazy. I, I think we might be a little past that. This is the thing right here. So you can see backing up. This has a manure spreader. Oh, yeah. Did you just see that? Did you see the thing? So it's got the manure spreader on the back. That is going to be the Stockholm Maestro 3400SR. Uh, you could barely see it. You could see that it does have manure in it, though. Uh, this is going to be a manure spreader, 12 meters, and holds 3,400 liters. We hit play. Stop. You see it zooming in on this part right here? Check this out. Boop. Did you see the thing? Did you see it? Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back. Wait for it. Boop. <laughs> so it's hooking up. The manure spreader isn't on. Go back, hit play. Look at this. It's backing up to it. Backs in. Boop. Hits it. Now you can see right here, we've got a front piece as well. My question is, what would hook up to the front? I don't, there's no three point up there, is there? I don't think so. It doesn't look like there's a front three point. And I'm looking online, there's no three point there either. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. That's pretty cool. Then we move into the piece of equipment I am most looking forward to. And that is the ABTT281 Plus. Yes. Swiss quality, baby. Let's go. We also see we've got a windrow in the front as well, or a swather rather. That is going to be the SIP favorite five or a 254 windrower. Let's go and hit that. You can see it's just running very small equipment here. You don't need this massive equipment up in this area. The fields, though they may be large, will work just fine. Now you see going back and forth. You see that? That's going back and forth between a windrower and a tether. Now, the wind row coming with this is the SIP Air, if we can move this over to it. Oh, oh there it is. The SIP Air 300 FALP, standing for the Alps. And yeah, these are on three point. So you're going to be able to use these with whatever you want. And yeah, we went from singles to duels. You see that? Boop. Oh, 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 come back, come back, come back. There it is. We could see this with duels. We've got different tire designs for the exterior tire versus the interior tire. Um, this is probably just to save on a little bit of uh, different models and new models that need to be brought into the game. I like this. I could care less. This looks good. It's still not as wide as the piece of equipment in the front though. So that AR300, that's got a 100 horsepower requirement at 3.5 meters. The interesting thing is we've got 109 horsepower on our AB right here. So that's gonna be quite interesting. We can see it moving along, doing well. It's looking good, man. This is looking really, really, gosh, look at that. And then here we get to see, again, the Ridge of Track jumping in, taking over the mowers. Now, 
The mowers on this, as far as the rear mowers, are going to be the Nova Disc 812s. Those are brand new for this DLC. The front mowers, we actually have, I think, two or three different front mowers coming with this. This one, because we've got this big gray nose on the front, we know this is the Novacat 301 Alpen, or uh, Alpha Motion. So we know that is that one, but I think all these are going to work just fine. <laughs> I think they're going to work just fine. Let's move along. You can see going from the back, look at that suspension as well. That's pretty cool. We have something similar to that already, but that's really neat to see. And then we're folded up, rocking and rolling, ready to get out of Dodge. Oh yeah. Now here, this is the first non-DLC piece of machine or tractor that we see. Why? Well, my guess is because that John Deere has got a whole lot more horsepower. I believe that's got about 250 horsepower, something like that. Nothing else in the game has the horsepower required, or in the DLC rather, has the horsepower required for the Pottinger Impress 125 FC Pro right here. You can see right there. I don't know why I looked at the DLC page. <laughs> this has got it all. This has a power requirement of 160 horsepower, meaning this 6R is going to pull this without problems. There's going to be no issues whatsoever. This is going to take your bells. It's it's around bell, baler and wrapper. I think we only have one, two of these in game, something like that. Um, this is not a non-stop. It's going to work the exact same way you would see normally. Unloads, drops the bell, boop, straight on its side. Now this is something that you guys have been waiting for. The Bureau, the 6105. This Bureau is, oh, it's, it's a throwback is what it is. Now, I don't remember, somebody was saying that they remember seeing this in FS13, maybe from FS15. I don't remember it. However, if you do, let me know because I don't remember this. Um, it's going to be found in small tractors, of course. This was one of the new things announced today. It has 100 horsepower, so it's not a high horsepower, but it's going to work just fine. Plus, it's cabless. This is the first cabless tractor that we've gotten officially from Giant Software, and I'm so happy to see that. And then to top it all off, from the very back, we get to see the Pottinger Top 612C right there. Just wait, it's right there. Boom, right there you go. And we drive off into the sunset. What do you think about that? The Farming Simulator 19 Alpine Farming Expansion, November 12th, 2020. Yes, that is a Thursday. Normally these come out on, uh, normally these come out on Tuesdays. This one is coming out on a Thursday. Very interestingly enough. Let's head back to the beginning one last time and let's watch it straight through together and see if there's anything that we missed. So we get to see right here the new 130, the Lin track, very good looking tractor. New map, of course, we've talked about that multiple times. We see the tractor riding off into the distance. <laughs> Beautiful landscape. Again, you could watch this twice looking at all the equipment and then again watching all of the scenery. I love this editing too. It's kind of, it's fun editing. Yeah. Going through super fast, super fun. If you need to, you could slow it all down. Look at that editing right there. That's awesome. Did they use green? No, it's brown. Okay. So they must've done color replacement or something. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how in the world they did that in editing, <laughs> but look at the landscape. You can see, obviously the tractor is not the, uh, the center of attention there. It is everything going on, but not here. Check that out. Pulling in new feature right here on the inside. You can hook up more, uh, more ability to use the interior cab versus trying to use things outside the cab. Right now you have to use a lot of outside exterior cab views to do things. Hopefully this is going to be bringing us more into making things on the inside a little bit easier. There you go. Dropping it off. Plus I know a lot of you guys like turning off the HUD as well on PC. Um, some console guys even zoom in a little bit. I've seen that done as well. Boom. There you go. Looking good. Dropping off the bales. Boop, boop. And coming through. Yes, this DLC is focused mainly on grass work. Um, but of course, you could do whatever you want on this map. New map. You could use this equipment on anything. Boom. There you go. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love it again. Again, this DLC will be released to all players of Farming Simulator 19 on Thursday, November 12th, 2020. If you're on PC and again would like to pre-order the DLC, I will have links down in the description below and that does go to help support the channel. If you have any questions about this DLC, please feel free to drop those down in the comment section below. But 
With that being said, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!